there's a man in his garden, and he is uh, he sees a chrysalis, and he sees a, a hole in the chrysalis, and a little leg come through, and he thinks, wow, a butterfly is coming. So he decides to sit and watch the butterfly come out of the cocoon, and the leg comes out, and the butterfly is poking its nose, whatever it is, nose. Do they have noses? Whatever that is. Oh my goodness! The front, I have no idea. the and front part I, of their, the front, <laughs> the front part of their face. He's poking it and poking it and poking it and trying to get this thing to open. So the man begins to feel bad for the butterfly. He's sitting there for an hour, over an hour, watching this, you know, butterfly work, try to work its way out of the chrysalis. And he says, "I know what I'm going to do." And he goes in the kitchen. He's got a little drawer with an exacto knife. And he gets the exacto knife and he goes back and he just creates a little cut. In the, um, in the chrysalis. And the butterfly pops right out. He's like, yay, that's cool. And the butterfly's sitting on the ground and it isn't flying. And he's looking at it going, what's going on? Why isn't this butterfly flying? And he looks at the wings. And the wings aren't full wings. They're kind of limp wings. They're kind of wimpy wings. They just don't look like they're substantial. And he's thinking, oh, no. You know, this butterfly isn't going to fly. And butterflies only live for three days. And at some point he hopes, well, maybe the butterfly will make it. You know, I've got to go to an appointment or whatever. And he leaves. And each day he comes back and there's the butterfly sort of suffering. And eventually, of course, the butterfly dies and never flies. And he realized something, that the butterfly needed to work its way out of the chrysalis to build the strength in its wings so that it could fly. Mm 